Hi guys, this is Miss G. I hope you enjoyed the video that you just saw on how on a career as a cartoonist. So cartoonists are very fun. It's a fun career and I would say it's very satisfying. You guys are going to learn how a cartoonist can just maybe become an art career. So let's begin by showing you how you can be a cartoonist today and you are going to design a nice cute pet today uh, with Miss G. So I am going to show you how we're going to create a nice graphic like this little French bulldog and it's also sharing a message to stay home. You're going to add a color to your French Bulldog, anything, you, any color you'd like, it doesn't matter, you can just kind of make it colorful, and then you're also going to color the negative space that's in the background. So, to start off, we're going to talk about how to become a cartoonist, and how in that video that you saw, you see how cartoonists create a very, and they impact the world. It expresses different messages and are used for newspaper, for politics, for simply entertainment. So we're going to also include, along with our vocabulary, we're going to talk about foreground. So foreground is how we're going to draw an object in front of us to make it look like it's right in front of our forehead. So in this foreground, you see our dog is in the foreground. It's the largest thing to you. So the tree house or the tree and the house in the background is showing that it is far away simply by drawing it small and the color is kind of fading off into a distance. So that is how we create our very important element of art, space. So space is very important in artwork. Number one, you want to draw big. Number two, it is okay to draw off our page. So if my ear did not fit in the page, no worries, just draw off the page, it is okay. Another thing you wanna look at is your positive space. So this here, my dog here, my puppy, is the positive space and everything around it in blue is the negative space. So that is considered the background. So let's get started and um, let's become a cartoonist today. So we are going to, I'm gonna take away our actual image, take away the color and our background. Now let's get started. The very first thing you're going to do today is remember that we're going to begin drawing our puppy in the foreground. So he is going to be large. It is okay if you run out of space, all you have to do is draw off the page and then just assume that it didn't fit in the picture because he's right in front of our face. So I'm going to start with drawing two dots for his nose, okay? So these are the nostrils. So I'm gonna start with one and two. Now we're going to create a line around and up on both sides and connect it all the way across. Now you can draw what looks like a V. So just draw a V and connect it there. The next thing you're going to do is draw a vertical line and stop. Now, if you remember, this is our picture that I actually grabbed our inspiration from. His head is a little tilted, just to kind of give that message of he's either confused or looking at something interesting very closely. Um, so I'm going to shrink this and use, since we're using that as our reference, I'm gonna kind of bring it over here. And we can use that to kind of look back. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and create what looks like this right here, almost like a sad face. And we're just gonna do that by drawing a curvy line going down on one end and then the other. Of 
Once you're done with that, you're going to draw a curvy line on one side. You can choose either side. We'll start with this one here. Draw a curvy line up and stop. And do the same thing to the other side. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. So draw a curvy line and just stop. Now there is a line here that you see on his, right above his nose. So we're gonna go ahead and draw that. Just a nice little diagonal line there to show little wrinkles on, above his nose. And then let's go ahead and draw another curvy line and connect it. Do the same thing to the other side. Just draw that line, have it go, continue going down and connect. Good job. Now this is a puppy that I eventually want to own myself. It's a nice French bulldog. I love them. They're so cute. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some little detail here. Just a few dots to show like his little whiskers. And then draw a nice little curvy line here to indicate his lip. And then let's go ahead and close that line there. Now yours might be in a different location. So you might have drawn yours up here, way up here. It doesn't matter. So if you drew up here, that's fine. If you drew it maybe too far to the side, that is okay too. Just draw off the lines, it's okay, wherever it fits. And I'm gonna shrink mine a little bit. And then we'll get started again. Everyone's, your, your dog will be in a different location. It's not gonna be exactly the same, so it is okay, we want that. So let's go ahead and, and draw. You run out of space, that is fine. I'm gonna draw, draw a line indicating that that's his body all the way down. Draw another line here. And then we'll just stop there. Now let's go ahead and go back to his face. And now we're going to draw almost, you could do little broken lines like this all the way around and kind of just close it down there like that. Now let's draw one eye and then we'll do the other. So as you can see, the eye is right here and it seems to be closed. So let's just draw a nice rainbow there. And then draw a smiley face in the very bottom and stop. You might wonder why we stopped. So I'm just gonna draw a curvy line inside. I like stopping because it kind of gives the illusion that that's maybe eyelashes. Now let's go ahead and draw the pupil inside. So draw a curvy line there. Let's draw another curvy line there. An oval inside. And then to make it sparkle, a little circle there. And you can eventually color this. There you have one eye. If you wanna make him look like he's, his eyes sparkling a little bit more, add more white to it to show more of a shine. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Again, look at the placement where you started the eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing there. Draw a nice, good rainbow and stop. And then a smiley face at the bottom and stop. Now let's go ahead and draw. I have a very hard time drawing the eyes the same, so it is okay if you're having the same problem. And color around it. I can I already tell that I can already tell that I'm gonna run out of space here for my ear, but that is okay because the artists themselves, this was on Etsy and it, it's from an artist and they sell their prints on Etsy. So eventually you can possibly start selling your own prints, guys, on Etsy or any other website and make that as a little show that your careers are already you're already practicing for that future career of yours okay let's go ahead and continue we're going to go ahead and draw this side of the face so i'm going to draw a line very close to the eye 
and then just draw a curvy line back down to his cheek. And do the same thing to the other side. Notice I'm drawing my line, it stops right here where the eye is at eye level. So I'm gonna start here and just kind of curve it down to the cheek. Now we can go ahead and draw this part here, which is his body. And it starts right here where we did the curve for the, the eye or the cheek. So let's just go ahead and draw a curvy line down. And draw another curvy line there. All right, now we're going to go ahead and start drawing the very top of his head. So we will draw this part here. And that's very simple because all we have to do is just kind of draw a little wavy line above. So just go ahead and start here and then stop. It's such a cute dog. All right, now let's go ahead and draw his ear, his left ear. So I'm going to start, begin here. You just draw off the page. If you have room, then just continue drawing inside the page. But if I ran out of room, so I'm gonna stop there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw, draw this curvy line here. So I'm gonna draw a curvy line right there on his eye and then just begin drawing his ear on the other side. Just draw off the page. I ran out of space, so it's okay. And then you want to go ahead and just draw another line there, kind of draw a little wavy or zigzag line to show maybe that's his, his fur. And a little line here indicating that that's inside his ear flap. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So now we will draw, go up. Make it pointy at the very top. And then you're just gonna have this curvy end here. So we're drawing this curvy to connect back. So I'm gonna draw curvy and then connect it back. And do the same thing, draw a line here to indicate that's the inside of his ear. And then maybe do some little zigzag lines there. All right, now you can add your color. And you can do this with markers, with crayons, whatever it is that you have at home. I'm going to do it with, let's say I did have crayons or chalk, even chalk. If you guys have an iPad and you're watching this from home, you can do this outside in your sidewalk. And even um, draw this make a public display of your artwork so that people that walk by can see your beautiful work. I'm sure they'll enjoy seeing something nice outside. So let's go ahead and add some color. You can add a little bit of color here and there or not, you don't have to add too much. If you wanna leave it black and white. Just gonna add a little bit of color just like the artist did. Just splashes of color here and there. And just choose your favorite colors. And if you decide to make this into a nice little cartoon, I can't wait to see this on a show. Add a little bit of color there. I'm gonna add another color, let's do blue. Again, you don't have to do or color the way I'm coloring. I really like how it looks on the artist that drew it. So I'm trying to copy, but it's kind of hard because it's not my style to color in this way but I really like how it looks, so I'm trying very hard to practice. And that's what art is for, to help you get inspired. All right, I'm just gonna add a few more and then we'll stop because there's still something we're gonna do. So now we added our beautiful pug. Well, it looks like a pug, but it's not. It's a French bulldog to our foreground. I'm gonna add a little bit of 
And we will now color the background. Now, if you want your pup to have a little message, maybe you can go ahead and draw a little thought bubble at the very top and then have it say something. Right now, the big message that we're all sharing is to stay at home. So just be safe and stay at home. So maybe you can create a thought bubble. And I just simply draw a curvy line like this, kind of like a V, and then just draw a circle all the way around and connect it. And then he can create, you can write any message you want. I like to add a little shadow to this thought bubble only on one side to kind of give it more of a 3D effect. Create your message there, and then we will color our background. And I'm going to choose a color for my background. And because it is my background, I want it to kind of look more at a distance. So I'm gonna choose a very light color. That still seems too dark for me. So I'm gonna make it look as the blue sky, but because it's far away from me at a distance, I want it, the color to kind of blur out more. Okay, so let's go ahead and color our background. I'm going to remove my picture that I, we used as a reference. There we go. Okay, color the background. Now, if you were painting this, you might want to choose just a different value and a lighter color than your pug. I keep saying it's a pug, it's not my, than your French bulldog. And then you can, um, so it won't take away from your drawing in the foreground. Now, if you want to start adding like what I did, a background, what I did is I just, if I overlap it again, if you mix your colors or just choose a different, a darker value of that same blue, then what you can do is create almost what looks like a shadow of his house. Let's just go ahead and do his little tree house there. I mean, his dog house. And that's his dog house. And this is just used to indicate that his his house is way in the background. Choose a slightly darker. And if you're painting, if you have paint at home, then you can mix a little bit of the color that you're using with blue, with black, and then create a darker value of blue. I'm gonna add some clouds in the background. There goes the little house. Little dog house there. That's his home. So he's telling you to stay at home, and that's his home right there. Let's create a little dark, a little path here to show that it's the sidewalk to get to his house. And then we'll create his message, and he is saying, stay home. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I can't wait to see your pictures once they're uploaded. And again, I did this using Sketches School app, and it's a very fun app that has all the tools you need to use different colors and different brushes. I will see you soon. Bye.